Shalom, I'm the brother Kota Zabzayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh with another lesson. But before I go on, I want to say Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Basham Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the elect of Israel. Kan Akim. So, Today I want to go into the topic of how Israel are the jewels of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. This is Malachi 3 and 17. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that serveth him. Then shall we return, then shall ye return, and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Jehovah and him that serveth him not. Gone. So it says, In that day, Shalakia, and they shall be mine, say Jehovah of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. Gone. What day? It's speaking about the latter days, it's speaking about the times we're living in right now. Let's go to Amos 9 and 11. This Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. You see? So that's happening right now. He spirit in the time of Malachi, that was a prophecy that was going to happen right now in these latter times, you understand? So the tabernacle of David is being built up, you know? We are being built up as of old. You know, the southern kingdom has been woken up first. Under the uh, under the, the Judites first, you know. Judah was going to be raised up first. And then Ephraim. And then the northern kingdom. And now both uh, two sticks are being joined onto each other. Let me see which scripture was that. Uh, I believe Ezekiel. Come, let me read it real quick. This is Ezekiel 37, verse 19. Say unto them, Thus said Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, which is the northern kingdom, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows. And this is the complete northern kingdom because Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. And will put them with even, so like, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. Gone. And the two, the sticks. What he's speaking about is a, is a plank. You know, it goes into wood. A stick is made out of wood. So we were supposed to make that uh, twelve tribes chart. You know, where you see all the twelve tribes of Israel, and that they're being joined, that they're joined together. And it's, it should be before their eyes. We should have it in the camp. To prove that, let me just go into the word sticks which is Aitaza, which says plank. You see, that's the 12 tribes chart. Let me see if I could uh, Google that. Bear with me for a second. Gone. They're speaking about this chart. You see, the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, meaning the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, so-called West Indies, Levite, the so-called Haitians, Simeon, so-called Dominicans, Zebulon, 
Guatemalans to Panamanians, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Manassa, Cubans, Gad, North American Indians, Reuben, Seminole Indians, um, Naftali, the Argentinian to Chileans, Asher, Colombians to Uruguayans, Issachar, meaning the so-called Mexicans, Khan. So to go back to Malachi 3, verse 17, And they shall be mine, saith Jehovah of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him. Khan, so he's going to spare them, he's going to save them from the afflictions. You know, he's going he's gonna to hearken unto their prayers. But in that day when I make up my jewels, so Israel, those are the that's the jewel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Deuteronomy. So like, yeah, let's go to Zechariah first. Zechariah 2. Verse 7 and 8. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith Jehovah of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoil you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Gone. You know? He that touches Zion, Zion means monument, where the monument of, of Yahweh Basham Yahweh here upon this earth. You know, so he that touches you touches the apple of Yahweh Basham Yahweh eye. So we are the favorite. We are the only nation that he dealt with, you know, and that he's dealing with. So the people that spoil us, that rob us, that put us through captivity and put that yoke upon us, those are going to be touched also because they touch the apple of Yahweh Basham Yahweh eye. And they're speaking about the Edomites, you know, that's the last captivity we're going that, that we're in, and we are going to destroy them, you know. They're going to be enslaved for a thousand years, and after that, they're going to be eradicated. You know, but you got to believe that yeah, he that touches Israel touches the apple of Yahweh Basham Yahweh eye, his jewels. Let's go into that word, jewels. Go into Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. It's Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power, and Yahweh had chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Gone. And to what it says, thou art an holy people, means you have been set apart from the rest of the nations. You know, he has only dealt with us, as uh, Psalms 147 says, that he hasn't dealt with, he hadn't dealt so with any other nation. He gave us the statutes and the commandments. So we are set apart due to the commandments. We we keep these laws. We don't eat bad. We don't eat pork. We shouldn't, you know, do certain things. So that's how we are being set apart. And the Lord had chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Let's go into the word peculiar. Peculiar, which says Sahal, Sahala, Sahala. And the outline of biblical usage says possession, property, value, treasure, peculiar, peculiar treasure, treasure. The Strong's definition says meaning to shut up wealth, jewel. See, now this is the one that I was looking for, jewel. Peculiar treasure, proper good, special. We are the jewels of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Let's go to the next scripture, Deuteronomy 26, verse 18. Because this is written throughout the whole Bible, you know. Let me just start at 17. This is Deuteronomy 26 and 17. Thou hast avouched Yahweh this day 
to be thy power and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. And Yahweh had avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, meaning his jewel, as he had promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments, and to make thee high above all nations which he had made, in praise and in name and in honor, and that thou mayest be an holy people unto Yahweh thy power, as he had spoken. Gone. And the word in vouch, a vouch, just means to say, which is amar, which means to say, to speak, to utter, to answer, to be told. You see? And to further drive that nail into the coffin. <laughs> this is Psalms 135, verse... For, for Yahweh had chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. You see? So Israel is his, is his jewel. Peculiar means jewel. Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because all throughout the Bible, you're going to read that we are a holy people, we are the jewel, we are a peculiar people, we are a special people. You know, this is Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. The Lord, Yahweh thy power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Done. So we, the Jews of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, we ought to listen to Yahweh Basham Yahushai, to his commandments. Because we, we are the ones that have been given the commandments. These other nations haven't been given the commandments, so they can do what the hell they want because they, they are the heathens. Come on, this is Joel 3 verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. You see? Also this one. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their borders. God. But we are the silver and the gold. We are the jewels of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Salakia. They have taken the the real silver and ju uh, silver and gold. Also, they have put them in their in their vaults. You have they they put them in their museums. You know, our our treasures are all over the the earth, dispersed over the nations. You know, they have carried away the silver and gold of our nation, but. Most importantly, they have taken the silver and gold of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the gold, which represents us, represents the man. You understand? The jewels of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. To prove that, let's go into Zechariah 13, verse 9. In Zechariah 13, verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. You see? So one third of Israel is going to be saved through these afflictions that we are going through. You know, we are being made perfect. Be perfect as Yahweh Basham Yahushai is perfect. You know, and how are you being made perfect through these afflictions, through adversity? Be ye perfect. I believe that's Matthew 5. Matthew 5, verse 6. See if I can find it real quick. Come. 
is Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So we are being made perfect through these afflictions and through this adversity that we're going through. You know, and the word Satan, Satan goes into adversary. And that's how you're being made perfect. You understand? Your impurities are being um, are being burnt away as gold and as uh, silver is fried, you know. Let's go to the last scripture. Which is in Sirach 2. second gone this is Sirach 2 verse 5 for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity you see so we are the gold of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. We are the, are the silver and gold. We are the jewels. We are the, we are the peculiar treasure. We are a special and holy people unto him. And acceptable men, so like Yahweh, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And how do you go through adversity? through fighting against Satan, you know. Satan is like when you're in a ring, you're a boxer, and you you have the, you're in the red corner, and Satan is in the blue corner, you see. So he's your adversary, uh, he's your adversary, Salakia, he's your adversary, so he's going to make you tougher, he's going to make you stronger. He's, he's your sparring partner in the truth. You know, Shatan. Outline of biblical usage as adversary, one who withstands adversary in general, person or uh, national, superhuman adversary, Satan. But basically, that's the word adversary. So, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So keep on fighting that good fight against Satan. And Yaratazah will get up out of here soon, man. So I hope this video is edifying. I don't want to say Kal Halal Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham Rekha Kodash, Shalom Hakim.